Hi friends, this is Susie, your gaming guru. It is August 29th, 2022. I'm here for my Wordle of the Day and for According to Hoyle Day. So when I was growing up, the youngest of six in a poor family, we played a lot of cards because a deck of cards was cheap or even sometimes free. They were given away at various places. And we had a book called According to Hoyle that would give us information, all of the instructions on hundreds and hundreds of different card games, including different solitaire games. So very important for settling disputes in my family. And this, Hoyle, had my very favorite card back uh, with the shell. Always loved those, even more than the bicycles. So I'm using this as my inspiration for the day. I don't think Hoyle is an actual word. I'm going to try it just because it's always fun to see if it is. Oh, it is. I was going to do cards. I wonder if I could do cards still. I think so. C hasn't been used yet. A-R-D-S. Oh, let's try that too. Okay, so we got some information here. Uh, now I have to figure out what Hoyle means. So C goes here. Uh, let me go ahead and find out Hoyle because I have to sneeze anyway. Be right back. Well, that's pretty cool. Hoyle is taken from the name Hoyle, but now it, it has come to mean, with lowercase, just uh, an encyclopedia of indoor games, especially card games. So that's pretty cool. All right, so we are going to now plug in the rest of this stuff. I know there's an H in this word. That looks like a likely spot for it, but it could also go here or here. We're here. Okay, obviously I have to pause after each attempt, or even more often than that, to sneeze. Um, okay, so let's check an E. E could go here, or here, or here. That doesn't feel very helpful to me. Um, let's see what other letters we haven't used that are common. So we've tried R, S, we haven't tried T. We've tried L, we haven't tried N, and we know there's an E, we just don't know where it is. We also know there's a C here. Oh, I'm feeling a little confused. Oh, we also know that there's going to be an H in here. I would just try chant if we hadn't excluded the A. All right, so let's see what we can make of all this. I think I want to exclude the C because I think getting it on the third try is not going to be likely. So I want to try to use up as many of the various things that I can here. Um, what, what if we do T H Oh, I have to go sneeze again. Oh, it's going to be hard to get through this one this morning. So TH, let's put it in here. And what else could we do? We haven't tried... Ooh, what about theft? That uses a lot of the stuff. It doesn't use the N, though. That's okay. Let's try it anyway. Oh, wait, we have a... We have two T's there. Oh, I don't like that anymore. We could do thief. That would give us the I. Thief. Tell us whether or not there's an I in the word. Yeah, let's try that. <laughs> Isn't that fun? I just love when that happens. I don't have to play around in the whiteboard anymore. There we go, chief. Oh, I guess I'm happy that theft has two T's in it. All right, that is it for me. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put those below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.